The Real Ghostbusters was a cartoon that ran from 1986 to 1991 to capitalize on the success of the Ghostbusters film. There was one episode in particular that featured a character named the Boogeyman. This character has features that can easily freak out a child, as well as some adults. It has an oversized head with jagged teeth, yellow eyes, and a raspy voice. The creature's intentions don't redeem it in any way either. It hides in the shadows and feeds on the fears of its victims. It's him. I remember you. Egon, move! No, not again. Anyone who has seen the Powerpuff Girls knows him. He is one of the most infamous villains in the show. Most would say that he resembles the devil. He lives off of hatred and fear. He can take on many forms and he seems to attack people by messing with their heads. His main intentions is to spread negativity. With an eerie, echoing voice and an evil appearance, it's very easy to call him. Satan. You hate them too? Oh, I knew I could count on you. But how could I possibly beat them with all that surrounding them? What's that you say? Yes. That's brilliant. Oh, Mr. Quackers, you are so smart. Quite a positively evil scheme you've hatched, and I'll finally be rid of those girls. The Adventures of Mark Twain is an animated movie that, for the most part, is directed toward children. Possibly the most notable part of the movie is when the mysterious stranger is introduced. He is only a suit of armor and a mask. However, when he is asked for a name, the mysterious stranger makes a really simple reply. Satan. The character allows his children to play with some clay. They make a kingdom full of people. The mysterious stranger brought them to life, and while describing humanity with the children, he started to destroy the kingdom along with the people, showing what he perceived humans to be. Nobody is a character that appears on Sesame Street. He doesn't really fit in with the rest of the characters, such as Big Bird, Elmo, and Grover. Nobody is a bodiless phantom that teaches kids how to count. His face twitches when he talks, and it undoubtedly provided nightmares to the children that watched. Jim Henson, the creator of Sesame Street, later stated that this should be the monster that teaches human babies how to count. Courage the Cowardly Dog has had very memorable moments throughout the show's history. Most have gone on to spook and terrify children, and even adults. Freaky Fred has a pretty unusual state of mind. He is obsessed with cutting hair, and he always has an unsettling smile on his face whether he is in a good or bad situation. 
He eventually leaves to a mental asylum in a straitjacket after causing chaos at the bag's residence. But the smile just seems to stick around for a while. The look upon my young love's face was sweet as lace. But in this case, I realized she... I never more was naughty. Well, maybe not never. <laughs> <laughs>